Yashar, Jasher 21. And it was at that time, at the end of a year and four months of Avraham's dwelling in the land of Pelashitim in Gerar, that Elohim visited Sarah, and Yahuwah remembered her. And she conceived and bore a son to Avraham. And Avraham called the name of the son which was born to him, which Sarah bore to him, Yitzhak. And Avraham circumcised his son Yitzhak at eight days old, as Elohim had commanded Avraham to do unto his seed after him. And Avraham was one hundred and Sarah, ninety years old, when Yitzhak was born to them. And the child grew up, and he was weaned. And Avraham made a great feast upon the day that Yitzhak was weaned. And Shem, and Eber, and all the great people of the land, and Avimelech, king of the Pelashitim, and his servants, and Pekol, the captain of his host, came to eat and drink and rejoice at the feast which Avraham made upon the day of his son Yitzhak's being weaned. Also, Tarach, the father of Avraham, and Nehor, his brother, came from Haran, they and all belonging to them, for they greatly rejoiced on hearing that a son had been born to Sarah. And they came to Avraham, and they ate and drank at the feast which Avraham made upon the day of Yitzhak's being weaned. And Tarach and Nehor rejoiced with Avraham, and they remained with him many days in the land of the Pelashitim. At that time, Sarag, the son of Reu, died. In the first year of the birth of Yitzhak, son of Avraham. And all the days of Sarag were two hundred and thirty-nine years, and he died. And Yishmael, the son of Avraham, was grown up in those days. He was fourteen years old when Sarah bore Yitzhak to Avraham. And Elohim was with Yishmael, the son of Avraham. And he grew up, and he learned to use the bow, and became an archer. And when Yitzhak was five years old, he was sitting with Yishmael at the door of the tent. And Yishmael came to Yitzhak and seated himself opposite to him, and he took the bow and drew it, and put the arrow in it, and intended to slay Yitzhak. And Sarah saw the act which Yishmael desired to do to her son Yitzhak, and it grieved her exceedingly on account of her son. And she sent for Avraham and said to him, Cast out this bondwoman and her son, for her son shall not be heir with my son. For thus did he seek to do unto him this day. And Avraham hearkened to the voice of Sarah. And he rose up early in the morning, and he took twelve loaves and a bottle of water, and he gave to Hagar and sent her away with her son. And Heger went with her son to the wilderness, 
and they dwelt in the wilderness of Paran with the inhabitants of the wilderness. And Yishmael was an archer, and he dwelt in the wilderness a long time. And he and his mother afterward went to the land of Mitzrayim, and they dwelt there. And Heger took a woman for her son from Mitzrayim, and her name was Meriva. Rather, Meriva. And the woman of Yishmael conceived and bore four sons and two daughters. And Yishmael and his mother and his woman and children afterward went and returned to the wilderness. And they made themselves tents in the wilderness in which they dwelt. And they continued to travel and then to rest monthly and yearly. And Elohim gave Yishmael flocks and herds and tents on account of Avraham, his father. And the man increased in cattle. And Yishmael dwelt in deserts and in tents, traveling and resting for a long time, and he did not see the face of his father. And in some time after, Avraham said to Sarah, his woman, I will go and see my son Yishmael, for I have a desire to see him, for I have not seen him for a long time. And Avraham rode upon one of his camels to the wilderness to seek his son Yishmael, for he heard that he was dwelling in a tent in the wilderness with all belonging to him. And Avraham went to the wilderness, and he reached the tent of Yishmael about noon. And he asked after Yishmael, and he found the woman of Yishmael sitting in the tent with her children, and Yishmael her man and his mother were not with them. And Avraham asked the woman of Yishmael, saying, Where has Yishmael gone? And she said, He has gone to the field to hunt. And Avraham was still mounted upon the camel, for he would not get off to the ground as he had sworn to his woman Sarah that he would not get off from the camel. And Avraham said to Yishmael's woman, My daughter, give me a little water that I may drink, for I am fatigued from the journey. And Yishmael's woman answered and said to Avraham, We have neither water nor bread. And she continued sitting in the tent, and did not notice Avraham, neither did she ask him who he was. But she was beating her children in the tent, and she was cursing them, and she also cursed her man, Yishmael, and reproached him. And Avraham heard the words of Yishmael's woman to her children, and he was very angry and displeased. And Avraham called to the woman to come out to him from the tent. And the woman came and stood opposite to Avraham, for Avraham was still mounted upon the camel. And Avraham said to Yishmael's woman, When your man Yishmael returns home, say these words to him. A very old man from the land of the Pelashitim came hither to see you. And thus was his appearance and figure. I did not ask him who he was, and seeing you were not here, he spoke unto me and said, When Yishmael, your man, returns, tell him thus did this man say, When you come home, put away this nail of the tent which you have placed here and place another nail in its stead. 
And Avraham finished his instructions to the woman, and he turned and went off on the camel homeward. And after that, Yishmael came from the chase, he and his mother, and returned to the tent. And his woman spoke these words to him. A very old man from the land of the Palashtim came to seek you, and thus was his appearance and figure. I did not ask him who he was, and seeing you were not at home, he said to me, When your man comes home to tell him, rather, when your man comes home, tell him, thus says the old man, put away the nail of the tent which you have placed here, and place another nail in its stead. And Yishmael heard the words of his woman, and he knew that it was his father, and that his woman did not honor him. And Yishmael understood his father's words that he had spoken to his woman. And Yishmael hearkened to the voice of his father. And Yishmael cast off that woman, and she went away. And Yishmael afterward went to the land of Canaan, and he took another woman, and he brought her to his tent to the place where he then dwelt. And at the end of three years, Avraham said, I will go again and see Yishmael, my son, for I have not seen him for a long time. And he rode upon his camel and went to the wilderness, and he reached the tent of Yishmael about noon. And he asked after Yishmael, And his woman came out of the tent, and she said, He is not here, my lord, for he has gone to hunt in the fields and to feed the camels. And the woman said to Avraham, Turn in, my lord, into the tent, and eat a morsel of bread, for your soul must be wearied on account of the journey. And Avraham said to her, I will not stop, for I am in haste to continue my journey, but give me a little water to drink, for I have thirst. And the woman hastened and ran into the tent, and she brought out water and bread to Avraham, which she placed before him. And she urged him to eat, and he ate and drank, and his heart was comforted, and he blessed his son, Yishmael. And he finished his meal, and he blessed Yahuwah. And he said to Yishmael's woman, When Yishmael comes home, say these words to him. A very old man from the land of the Pelashitim came hither and asked after you, and you were not here. And I brought him out bread and water, and he ate and drank, and his heart was comforted. And he spoke these words to me. When Yishmael, your man, comes home, say unto him, The nail of the tent which you have is very good. Do not put it away from the tent. And Avraham finished commanding the woman, and he rode off to his home, to the land of the Pelashitim. And when Yishmael came to his tent, his woman went forth to meet him with joy and a cheerful heart. And she said to him, An old man came here from the land of the Pelashitim, and thus was his appearance. And he asked after you, and you were not here. So I brought out bread and water, and he ate and drank, and his heart was comforted. And he spoke these words to me. When Yishmael, your man, comes home, say to him, The nail of the tent which you have is very good. Do not put it away from the tent. And Yishmael knew that it was his father, 
and that his woman had honored him. And Yahuwah blessed Yishmael.